Welcome to this rather special episode of Sanula Tovich. <coughs> and as you can see in the religious map, here's what, what Catholic control looks like. Along with other mixed religions over there in Shia Spain. While we are the only uh, free, or, well, other than Bulgaria, free Zoroastrian nations of Europe. And now there's been a called, as they call it, a crusade. A Catholic crusade on Croatia. All because this Pope wants to get rid of us. I mean, he's got his money that he expelled the Jews. And he's got his personal army, but he'll have a much, much bigger army by the backing of possible nations such as the Holy Roman Empire, Bavaria, Austrasia, Poland, England, and all other little vassals that go along with it. While I have, um, while I hope to make the call to all the other Zoroastrian nations, that's not far, far, you know, not far east, but I'm saying a reference of ours, our vassals, including Bulgaria, ran by my uncle, Tomislav the Usurper. So, we are alone in a fight, but we're not alone in a sense. If we still got Bulgaria and the little vassals that will fight alongside with, we'll take on um, basically all of Europe. That's what it is. We're basically surrounded by all corners. Even the opportunistic Byzantines that would try to declare holy war on us as well whenever we are weak. And yet, I wanted to get rid of my war focus to go on the theology, but that can wait. And you could hardly make friends with um, anybody. Most of them are just nomadic uh, Turks. And it's too early to be patrolling to anybody. But if we were to win a crusade, our moral authority for Zoroastrianism will rise so high that we will become the de facto religion again. So this will be the fate of all of us. Um, for those before. Born those before the war and all this such. We could run out of money if this war would continue to a bloody stalemate. And yes, it's a Catholic crusade. But to us Croats, we might as well call it the homeland war. So we called for all the vassals to rise up against us. Not a Teutonic order along with Venice or the first ones to answer the call of this crusade. As soon as they as soon as they land, we're gonna meet them there. As our first opening action. Well they're gonna open the action first and they're gonna get their first taste of victory. Because with amphibious landings that those can be a mistake. But they're gonna get off that easy. I'm gonna let this episode run as long as we can until the crusade is over. Which we don't know how long it's gonna take. But I'm gonna do it at a slow pace instead of the usual fast pace like you've seen in previous videos. As I said, it's kind of a special episode. It's, it's a very, very important. Again, we're not going to besiege their lands until it is necessary. We're going to keep fighting until we're going to basically make them quit the crusade, call off the crusade if if they can't win. That's what we're doing basically. Our vassals are with us, but who else? Uncle, please help us. I mean, you may not have the strength of many men, but... It's my squad.
their first bloody Christmas for their crusade. We're sending them that way. Hopefully they'll start to revolt between each other, the Holy Roman Empire, so that way they can't participate in the crusade. Well, they got their first few participants now. We have to watch out for the Teutonic Order. They're a powerful force. There's the Pope himself. After we defeat the Venetians, we gotta uh, get that Pope. If we can capture him, this war would be over early. Warm up. Again, he's called a crusade on us because he's concerned about his fellow Christians in the uh, Corinthia, now Slovenian land. We're calling it Slovenian because this part here originally was that. At least some of them will follow us. Let's get them quick. Dragomir, uh, that's my husband, has been indulging in the dark arts of court intrigue lately. Too openly, it seems a line of work for my aims. He appears to incur the wrath of some local thugs. He has escaped, though not escaped. Oh, man. I'm married to the guy with the worst intrigue education. Why can't he just let some other fool do the job? You may be a good-looking man, but... If you get killed out there, not by combat, but by your stupidity... Who knows? Maybe I made a bad investment in marriage. Tell you what, I think I know what I can do with these vassals. All of you besiege Rome. <laughs> we'll do the fighting. Unless it's absolutely necessary, then we gotta cancel the siege and call them back here. Let them march down to Italy. We'll meet them in the bloody snow. Hopefully we'll capture the Pope. We don't want him killed. So the crusade could be over early, and then we'll still have an hour-long procedure of an episode. My history of the deeds of my dynasty is finally complete. Now I ordered a subject to make copies of it for distribution. Um, only time will tell of success or failure. I'm sure it'll bring honor to family. So here we go. We got rid of his army, but um, we don't have, we don't have a, we don't have the Pope. Again, we're not going to advance down to areas where they declared a war on us, but I would rather let my vassals do it. We'll protect our territory. Enemies, take them out. There's the Teutonic Order. One of the guys that joined the crusade. They came from um, Glitch, that's in Galicia. Just watch them march down in Italy. This will be a cruise for you guys. We'll protect our own land unless it's absolutely necessary.
surprised no one else called a crusade yet. Anyone else that's joined their crusade. Unless they're scared of us, but they shouldn't be. These are tribal holdings up there, so you'll have an easy time. Well, meanwhile, we're going to chase them. And yes, we're a bit lagging behind on the chase, but still. Oh yeah, we got him. I hope we'll regret this decision for calling a holy war crusade on us. They think we Zoroastrians don't belong in Europe. We'll prove them wrong. Show them that they're not, that we are not worth of their time. Arrive the room yet? It'll take a while for you to besiege it, but I just want every vassal to be there. And yet, you are far from home. <laughs> it's just an assassination. guys doing they got a holy war they got a little thing going on down in Jerusalem they got a war too England have a war with Ireland Germany war too so does Pum oh so that's the reason why we're not facing the big force they're all busy with Jerusalem they're all about Jerusalem, and yet the Pope is like, No! The Zoroastrians are important here! <laughs> and I guess my uncle can relax now. <sighs> Such a deadbeat my uncle is. He's the one that raised me. We're going to catch them. This is probably their most flawed crusade yet because they're all busy with Jerusalem. Which I can understand it's more important than fighting us here in Croatia. Unless they'll realize that is going to be their next errand. On the to-do list. Keep it up. Yeah, you're all far from home. These, uh, supplies there. There ain't what they are. Ah, here comes his army again. Turn this way. Again, just show them they're not welcome here. Just capture the Pope and this nonsense will be over. Actually split up. Gotcha. A little bit of coin to make for selling that grain that we besieged earlier when we were in that particular county.
No captured. Last. It's the frickin' nineties, man. <laughs> If only this war would be over by Christmas. Even though we Zoroastrians don't have a Christmas type. But maybe that little feast that happens every November will do. If that war can be over soon. And also that means they can't raise their armies again. Because I told my vassals to go over there and it appears my strategy is paying off. And I'm pregnant. I did not understand fear before. What I felt... Once felt my leg shake and teeth chatter with fear, then it is hard to remain brave. Oh no. Well, I'm still in the vanguard. The Knights of Santiago has joined. More sheep to the slaughter. But then again, I remember I got wounded once. Sometimes my bravery can be my own undoing. Some would say a girl has no place in war. Bullshit, they do. Watch out for the Knights of Santiago, they'll come from through Italy. Because they're from Santiago. Oh, somebody's hired them. Okay, they, they took Rome. Oh, there they are. Yes, they're heading to there. Move up. Head into Crane. That's not their full force, they're right on our doorstep. We'll meet the knights there. Let's kill them. Oh, oh war scores at 100%. Oh, that's due to because we occupied Rome as I told them to do. Hey, my little Bosnians, Dalmatians, Slavonians, Slovenians, and my Rashkins, they... <laughs> And, and plus, this wasn't their real full force crusade because the other U Catholic European powers was too busy with their meddling their own matters. Zoroastrianism prevailed. I'll offer them peace in a moment. I would rather just kill these guys a few more times. Show them that we are here to stay. Despite the fact it was hyped, this war was to be hyped like it's us versus them, us versus the world, but no, nope, it didn't turn out to be that way because they're all too busy with their own wars, especially with Jerusalem, which I can understand it is more vital. But they finished their war, I think. Yeah, they did finish their war. So it is too late for them. They made a tactical error. If tactical, the word itself can be applied here. <sighs> They'll pay me 388 in reparations and uh, more moral authority for Zoroastrianism. Again, this crusade lasted one year and eight months, so it is over. Jesus, it seems, does not favor the Christian faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Pope Martinus uh, III called off the crusade for Croatia, Kurtz Queen Yadrinka of Croatia. 
pathetic, you guys. If I had you as prisoner, I would have humiliated you. I wouldn't do any cruel things to you. Again, best wishes to you and your future endeavors. So now I'm the Yadrinka the Glorious. And my god, I really do live up to it. As Zoroastrian moral authority is up because we won the crusade. <laughs> now let's finally settle down. Get me out of my commanding position. And just let me be at peace. As I would put my theology focus on. And try to be a good Zoroastrian or Mazda Yasna. Now we go back to shitty old times <laughs> with them fighting each other for whatever little things. Good thing. Just tell me when a thing is coming around. And we'll hold a feast later this year as a, sh as a way of celebrating our victory. Look at that. My idea worked. Oh, I didn't start it, but... Come back. You whom I cannot leave or briefly forget. And he did not like my poem. Well, I'm not an experienced poet. I was thinking about, should I compose a book? You know, the Sunulatovich dynasty, just like my father started, but he never did because he died of pneumonia. Should I do that? Should I risk my own life for a book? After the feasts, okay? Festivals and then feasts. Study culture. Send out the invitations. 997 is the year of victory. 997 is the year that um, Croatia defended Zoroastrian world or what's left of it. <sighs> a festive mood is in the air. The bonfires are being built near temples and lakes. Fathers are taking their sons to gather wood and fires while women prepare the food for the festival. Whoever does not give a branch, my Oromas to not grant their wish. The fires are lit. As part of the gestion, is that it? Uh, the Mobads. Uh, Western communities with the um, Irish Niyayish, the land of the fire. As a sovereign, I expect to attend the ceremony in my capital. This blessing shall aid me in battle, just to keep the morale up. Keep it up. A group of priests carried a sacred fire to the throne room. My vassals follow them and are directed to their seats by servants. Let us celebrate the glory of Ormaz. That was the last time be a vanguard because I lost my bravery for whatever reason. Celebrations are finally over. I have feasted on a bountiful food while outside the bonfires are burnt out. Having successfully driven away the demons of frost and cold, soon the light of summer shall be upon us. Till next time.
Now let's hold a feast. <laughs> Again, commemorate the celebration from earlier this year. While well, busy preparing my feast, a group of wandering uh, jongleurs arrived at the castle. They look a bit ragged, but their performance entertained the whole castle. Perhaps I should think about offering my patronage. They'll be perfect entertainment for the feast. The fire blasted right past my face and and I felt how my hair started to curl all the way from the fire. The fire eater had been, had been a bit too careless for my taste, but his troop and it was clearly was greatly skilled. The guests would be impressed if they entertained at my face. And the best part about preparing the feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar, and duck, spices, wine, and ale, honey for the desserts and cheeses, and perhaps even a swan and or a peacock. <laughs> Spend enough food to satisfy everyone's hunger. That's because I'm temperate, so I don't have a third choice. I'm a temperate uh, woman here. See? Moderation. Moderation's the key. So, who's coming and who's not? Harney Salvakari, if it says. Or for Kazakh. Kazimir of uh, Brynje. Dridislav of Karlobag. Dimitar of Livno. Mostly mares and a few mobats. I don't know why mayors don't attend to this particular feast. The guests have finally arrived. All was ready and the cooks have worked day and night preparing the food. And the castle has never looked lovelier. Welcome to my feast. Let's hope there's no incidents in the sense of the feast being interrupted by bullshit. The last of the guests have returned home and everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast. Wow. No incidents within the feast. Everyone was in a good mood. Everyone's in a celebratory mood because we are still alive to tell about it. I had great fun and so did everyone else. <laughs> Maybe I should... Um Then I already do the cultural advances. Try that again. Maybe it's the feast that made me interrupt it. Let's, let's repay the loan. And I'm really thinking about composing that book. Whoa. That's expensive. A A expensive. Okay, hold on. How do you spell expensive? Um E X B Ensive. <laughs> Okay, screw it. I shall chronicle my family history, of course. Let's try what my father started. And another thing about the theology focus, have a bit more health, try to live longer. Looks like I already am for being strong and being a skilled tactician, and among other things. Of course, pregnant. Just a prayer for peace. Huh. Peace on earth. Huh. So they gave me the nickname, the Glorious, after winning. Does that mean she could be the greatest Croatian ruler in centuries? Decades? Moldo. Oh, you're attacking. Okay, okay. Where's Moldo? What are you talking about up there? You want that? Okay. If it's fine with you, then. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Man, I'm doing double duty. <sighs> What's trying to look at Mike? Pretty old emperor. He likes Hindus, but he doesn't like gems. There's a bit of an unrest up there. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Look at all those claims. Even a Muzavar has a claim on some mosque.
Again, we're looking for a peaceful time. Hopefully. As long as the Holy Roman Empire doesn't declare a holy war on us. And we got ourselves a bit of a problem. Oh yeah, sure, I will come. Even though I'm shy, but I don't know if this will get rid of my shyness, but there's no harm in trying. Part of the reason why I'm a... I, I don't know why I'm a mystic, and yet that Pope called me a mystic. Maybe it's just a way to connect with the Asha, you know, the light, the good side, the light side, you know, like the force. <laughs> Forget about Serbia. Igor. <laughs> A fleet? Where do you get your... Oh, Jerusalem. Iceland. Poland not only controls Norway, but also Iceland too. Except it's ran by uh, Nords. Norse. Norsemen, not Nords. That's in Elder Scrolls. Okay, arrive the private room with this Serbian Duchess. Let's get it started. Wow, you're my best friend. Back then, when I first got on the throne, you hated my guts. But now, we're good. Best BFFs. I'm 30 years old, she's 34. Hmm. What if Coloman and Dragana get together? Yeah, that's why I said it. What if those two children would get together? You know, that Zoroastrian tradition. Gained a little cultural points. I'm trying to save up for the last of the Talmud so we get full status women, which means. There'll be no penalties in being a female ruler of any kind, and, uh, and female characters can lead armies. And we've yet to have an heiress Babud who is a woman. Not yet skilled. Hell, I hardly ever educated my daughters in the ways of war. Except those who are an heir to the throne. If any sons weren't available. Or, in this case, when I was crowned at three years old, someone died prematurely. But now I... Let's keep it running. But now, I just gotta... Save up and spend my money on what my father spent. Did it again. The whole double duty bullshit. Gotta, even though I'm a military woman at heart, but if only I was a rich person. If I was only a rich person. The one with stewardship education is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I got it. This is gonna be for the hell of it. <laughs> oh god damn it. Why does my husband do such things? Wait for it. Let us hold another feast. Because we're gonna party like it's 999. 
Got musicians. Come on in. No feast is complete without boar meat. Who will get the prestigious task in hunting and slaying the boars? Uh, here with a feast. Alright, Mayor Tarloslav. Go get him. There, he did. Well, he went out just fine. Spend it enough. Again, me being temperate, I don't want to eat too much. And the invitations are largely nearly. Oh, what the Duke of Sl Slavonia? Well, well, probably got his hands full. Welcome to my feast. I started talking to one of my guests at the feast and found the most interesting. Hours flew by, wine bottles were emptied, and other guests excused themselves and went to bed. But we kept talking to the wee hours. Okay, now I'm uh, friends with the mayor of Kruzic. He's a member of the trade league. The last of the great guests, uh, last of the guests, I <laughs> returned home and everyone agrees this year's greatest feast. So yeah, five, four, look at it again time, five, four, three, two, one, happy new year. A new year for the new millennium, the year 1000. We survived the crusade and we survive into another century. Should the Crusades ever happen to us again, we'll be sure to defend <laughs> this time and not be some farce. Look at all that money we're making. Anybody with Castle Town? Bosnian War for Princess Valeria's claim on Bulgaria. You're up against my uncle. Well then. Okay, anyways. Council town, council town. Aha. Uh -huh. Just spend little. Don't get, uh, greedy. Don't forget, you control Istria as well. So castle town there. Just need to increase our economy. Yep, the year 1000. Mm -hmm. Of course there <laughs> Nothing all right. Just, just write something about culture still. Just need a little more cultural points every little bit of the time. Oh yeah, the Bulgarian army is our country because they're fighting against Bosnia. It's a claim war. Nothing to worry about. At least on our end. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't want to go to war against my uncle. I mean, can you imagine me killing him? That would be Kinslayan. That's unthinkable. The man who raised me? And don't forget I'm writing a book what my father started and I know I would try again about writing about the Sunulatovich family. Actually, no. Keep it normal. Maybe we'll find some New York commanders. Because we're in good standards. Strength flies the army. Because we're at full strength. Yikes. Maybe he could be the future spy master. Unless I were to appoint him right now. Yeah, right now. Oh yes, let's assemble the mob. Cheap money. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. Huh. <laughs> huh. 
I should start reading the book. Books are about as a valuable commodity as... But this book about poetry is really boring. It is filled with do's and do nots. I just want to throw it out of the window. I should take the bird out for some hunting instead. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of books, I wonder... <coughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. While my book is coming along, I still f feel like uh, there is something missing from its pages. We do have more records, my lady. Details of the Sunul Atovich. You might say we have to spend some time digging out of the graveyard. Master Scribe informs you. <sighs> yeah, this is how my father got pneumonia and died. <laughs> Especially reinforced by a bad treatment. 80% chance I'll develop a cold. Again, that's the station. I'm not sick. Wow. I actually dodged a bullet. Did I already name somebody? Okay, I was wondering, did I already name somebody Igor? But I did. Okay. Wow. I actually got a 20% chance that I didn't get sick. She may not be shrewd-minded nor dull, but wow. She knows better than her father that she'd never met. At least as far as the memory goes, depending on how well you remember when you're a creator. New Burn is almost too perfect. I enjoy every hunt of her. And the cook has trouble finding new recipes of a rabbit. I'm a falconer. Mystic, Falconer, multi-talented, and was a brave warrior at a time. It proved the key. <laughs> and if I don't have anything to spend here, maybe I should just increase the quality of my garden by adding a couple more things. Wow, in years to come, I really am going to finish that book. That my father never really got the chance to finish the work, but now I do. But hey, new millennium, so it is a appropriate time to be writing about the Sunulatovich. A little bit of culture. I was about to say, those are raiders. Get out of here. Okay, they're gone. We killed them all. Should be tutored by those type of people. And I think I know I should assign you a guardian. Somebody with good stewardship. We Who's the youngest with the great Midas touch? Uh, guess you'll be taught by Gaspar. Just teach him about the ways of money making. Because I can see Croatia, much like we're experiencing right now, to... Look, we're experiencing basically a golden age. But now the Golden Age will continue under that reign of the new King Coloman, I can imagine. If he lives long enough. Another Arab Raider. Unless that guy's a Berber. Possessed, and why are you cynical? I mean, you could be a first candidate of being a member of Lucifer's own. I tell you, you're doing stuff for Angra Mina. We shouldn't even be married by this point.
Fuck up one more time, we're breaking up. That's a reminder. If he screws up one more time, I'm divorcing him and I'm going to have to marry somebody rich. When I say somebody rich, I mean somebody with Midas Touch. Maybe one of the mares. Oh, a board game. Uh, she has brought up the boards and pieces. Suggest I play a few rounds to determine who's the better strategist. I will play for honor. Very well, let's play. I've played for hours. Times of fortune. Um, Having and flowing as I try to attack my opponent's positions without opening my defense too much. I eventually found a critical opening, made a few inspired <coughs> and aggressive moves, and won the game. Hail to the queen. Prentice board game. Up. Time's up. I'm going to settle the divorce with a lot of money. Close relatives are being exhausted. Particularly him. My son won't like that. How do you like me now? No? You're fine? Because I'm your mother. That's why. Okay, somebody rich. Or somebody with high intrigue. Hmm. You should try that. I mean, yeah, they'll give you money sometimes, but too bad we never had children that were born attractive. He's younger than me, obviously, but. But, oh boy, maybe we can put his intrigue skill to use. He'll get, we'll get money, some of it, not all. Marry somebody who dwells in the shadows. So I'm an apprentice board gamer, but I can't be a game master because I'm a mystic. Well, I'm trying to put my focus on theology because I want to have some good virtues. I want more virtues than... I do not want to have a single sin. She has to be an uncorruptible, pure, pureness of a good woman. As well as being a legendary warrior self. Kind of like a Jedi in a way. <laughs> well, I'm about to make a pretty important decision right now. It just came a little bit. Because we know for a fact that in the past 200 years... We've always had these two kingdoms, or in this case three, with Bulgaria keep splitting up. And um, and since ever since that experience with the Crusade, I thought um, it should never happen again. We should be separate and be vulnerable all the time. So what I'm about to do is uh, we got to destroy that tunnel. But I can't. But I know how. Just for real quick. Okay. Make it primary. Change a non gavel kind succession law. And then make this primary again. <coughs> and then destroy the Kingdom of Serbia. It will cost me foreign prestige and all dead your vassals of the Kingdom of Serbia will be upset. There. Now it can never be separated again. But hey, me and her still besties. But not so much for uh, Ladislav. But, oh well. This is just for the better of the future for Croatia, because we have to be united as one. And one day, we would try to be... get Bulgaria, and destroy that tunnel too, and grab all the dead Jor territory of uh, Bulgaria. <laughs> As well as other places that I claim that they are a part of Yugoslavia. And then we'll expand even more. Into Panoia, Wallachia, possibly this. Again, who knows? Maybe one day, if I ever have a, if I ever play as a ruler with an extremely high prestige of 8,000, then I would create those two kingdom titles and then become emperor. But... There's this old, classic, but tired saying. Wishful thinking. And also I arranged a patrol for my daughter Dragana and my cousin Mihailo, who is the heir to Bulgaria. And doing this, uh, 
Who knows, maybe we'll have a claim on Bulgaria in the future. Whenever he takes drone after my uncle passes away. Oh, that's how you're related. I was thinking about a possible Zoroastrian wedding between those two, but no. If I ever give birth to another daughter, then I'm going to be betrothed to her. Oh, I have my two Russian half brother and half sister. Just keep making all that money. Put it to good use in the future. Prospering again. Oh, I haven't said it yet. And who's spreading vicious rumors about me? Who would want to spread a bad rumor to a war hero? but to notice that my husband appears to be finding the burdens of life too much to handle. He often wakes up at night in cold sweat or weeps inconsolably when he thinks nobody's watching. I feel that he helps. My husband could use some soothing words. A session of grooming my husband for a bit while speaking. A life about his problems has borne fruit. After voicing his problems, he appears to be much happier now. He's no longer stressed or depressed. He was stressed. There are many mysteries in the Zoroastrian faith. It might be interesting to spend some time reading, doubling the old texts of the Gathas. I will dedicate to more time by reading the scriptures. I have to be a pious woman too. Warrior Queen, true, almost true Zoroastrian. Because I don't think I really have any other... I think Shy is just my only flaw right now. Wasn't my father a mystic too? No, no, he wasn't. In the past few months, I've been spending many nights reading the Gathas. The texts contain many items of wisdom and also give hints the most important mysteries of Zerva. These sacred texts illumin uh, illuminate me. I think we should have a trade master. I think I know what to do with that money. Just to... Oh, just... No, no, never mind. I was hoping for a healthier guy around. Just spend the money on a garden, why not? Gardens do help lose your depression or stress. I guess the Aaron Spombo wants to invent something innovative, if, if, if it's practical, in a way.
the armored chariot. I have received a report from the outcome of the military experience that my armored small boat has asked me to sponsor. <coughs> Apparently a large steel plated chariot was constructed, propelled by ten men inside pulling it forward, directed by a commander peering out of a revolving turret mounted on top. This vehicle also had several ballistas firing through arrow slits. Though ending up being too slow and expensive for actual wartime deployment, it still provided for some valuable lessons. I'm glad something came out of the investment. Definitely did. Since I'm heavy infantry leader, so put emphasis on heavy infantry. next episode of yet another morning when I wake up feeling as tired when I went to bed should do something about my listless mind perhaps I need to spend some time alone seclude myself in prayer and meditation and read it will I'll take care of this while I'm gone as we will close this episode as I would go into seclusion and prayer try to be a good Zoroastrian as, as the golden age of Croatia continues, this is what I think. This is the golden age. This is the pure we're on ever since we defeated those crusaders early in the episode. So, so then next time, so long for now. <laughs>